A chemical reaction is when one or more chemical substances undergoes a chemical change. Now we can represent a chemical reaction with a chemical equation. So a chemical equation is a symbolic way to represent a chemical reaction. So we're going to represent a chemical reaction using symbols. So I'm going to write an example of a chemical equation here. We're going to take solid magnesium and we're going to burn it in air. So it's going to react with the oxygen gas in air. And as it reacts, it is then going to produce a product and that product is going to be a solid magnesium oxide. Now I've written the chemical equation and just to be complete I want to uh, balance this chemical equation because we know that the law of conservation of matter means that we are going to have to have every atom accounted for at the end. So if we have one magnesium atom to begin with, we have to have one at the end of this process. If we have two oxygen atoms at the beginning, then we need two oxygen atoms at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and balance this. And there we go, now it's balanced. Now I have two magnesiums, two magnesiums, two oxygens, and two oxygens. Now, there are different parts of this chemical equation and we need to identify those parts. The first thing we need to talk about is any chemical substance that is on the left-hand side of the chemical equation, uh, to the left of this arrow, these are called reagents. And they can also be called reactants. Either word is acceptable, they mean the same thing. And any substance that occurs to the right of this arrow is called a product. And of course reagents or reactants, they react together to produce the products. In this case, our two reagents are magnesium solid and gaseous oxygen. And the product that we're getting is magnesium oxide solid. This arrow is called the yields arrow or produces arrow. And then we have some other things here. We have these symbols here in parentheses and they are called state indicators. Also called phase indicators. Because they indicate the physical state or the phase of the species. And we, there are a few that are very important to us. We know that we have solids, liquids, gases, and AQ, which represents aqueous solutions, or that it is dissolved in water. So those are the main phase indicators or state indicators that we need to be familiar with. These numbers that are smaller numbers and they're below the line of the script are called subscripts. I'm going to bring this up here, subscript. And that lets us know how many 
of these atoms, the, the atom that came immediately before it in the formula, it tells us how many of those are in that formula. And then the large numbers at the beginning of each substance, these are the coefficients. And coefficients, just like in algebra, coefficients multiply the term that follows them. If a coefficient is not written, it is understood to be a 1, so the 1s are invisible. So my coefficients here are 2 and 1 and 2. And similarly, in a formula, a chemical formula, if the, if the subscript is not written, it is understood via 1. So there's understood via 1 there, 2, a 1 on that magnesium, and a 1 on that oxygen. So there we have reagents and reactants with their state indicators are reacting in a 2 to 1 ratio to produce two formula units of this product with that state indicator. Okay.